All right, y'all, we're here to talk about which glitch is better. Currently, we have two optimal glitches for item duplication. We have Tobio's Hollow Chasm glitch, which doesn't require any prep work once you get to the location, but does require a lot of time to get to the location. And the time it requires is dependent really on how you want to get there. Do you want to take a shortcut or do you want to progress the story and take the quest line approach? Now, the difference in time between taking the quest line approach or taking the shortcut could be hours based on your skill level. I have a video with which you should see at the top right explaining exactly how to take the quest line approach, which has an added bonus of getting you a fifth sage. But for those players who haven't yet progressed the story, there's also a shortcut you can take to get to this duplication glitch area. And if you've been fortunate enough to get a fast travel medallion, you won't even have to progress the storyline to get to this area. I also have a video on how to get the fast travel medallion at the top right. And then we have the new contender, the regular chasm glitch, a glitch that can be done by players who are still in the early game and can be performed in any chasm you come across. But which one of these glitches is most time efficient? And we're talking about the bigger picture here. Everything you have to do to actually activate the glitch or get to the glitch location, any particular prep work for the glitch, and how long does the process in each one of these glitches for item duplication actually take? If you're like me, as soon as you get to the location, you place a fast travel point there. We're going to do our best to guesstimate the amount of time it takes to actually start duplicating and try and find out which one of these glitches is is most efficient. If you got a second, drop a like on the video. So let's talk about Tobio's Hollow Chasm. The prep work is in actually opening and unlocking the location. But after this location is unlocked, you can simply fast travel here and instantly start duplicating your items. From what I added up following the quest line, it could easily take you anywhere from one to four hours. And in order to even gain access to this area through the quest line approach, you're gonna have to have at least 10 hearts. Traveling to the location alone will take you about 10 to 15 minutes and during the mineral quest line, she'll have you perform shrine-like tasks that can take you anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes for each one. And at the very end, you have a boss fight. Now that's quite a bit to get through, but I tell you the reward is well worth it, giving you access to the item duplication glitch area. And now let's talk about the newest version of the item duplication glitch. This allows even new players to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to duplicate their items. It all starts with creating this auto build, which is going to serve as a sort of like catcher for the items you're duplicating. Creating this auto build could take you anywhere between maybe 5 to 20 minutes, depending on your skill level for creating auto builds. I have a video here on the channel explaining exactly how to make this auto build and walking you through the whole process on the newest version of the item duplication glitch. You should see that in the top right corner. Keep in mind that this is a one-time process as you'll be able to save this to your auto build favorites. And personally, I don't find creating the auto build to be a hassle as much as I find setting the auto build up within the cat chasm to be more of a nuisance than anything. And I can't imagine diving into a chasm, finding just that right spot to place this auto build and doing that every single time you want to duplicate your items. Considering I'm coming from the Tobio's Hollow Chasm glitch, this version of the glitch seems more time consuming when considering the time from wanting your items duplicated to actually getting your items duplicated. And to add to that, there's something when I'm using this duplication method that I feel uneasy on these platforms. I feel like I'm just going to fall right down the chasm. Maybe some of you folks out there can expand on this auto build so that players could kind of feel more secure while they're on it. The time it takes to set up this auto build will vary drastically between players. And when I consider the idea that I would have to set up this auto build every single time I want my items duplicated, I would recommend taking the Tobio's Hollow Chasm route. Although it's initially time consuming, and by the way, you can take a shortcut there, just look up Tobio's Hollow Chasm shortcut. In my opinion, the daily task of duplicating your items is just so much easier. Well worth the time that you guys would have to invest to get to this area. So if it's not obvious already, I prefer the Tobio's Hollow Chasm. Which item duplication glitch area do you guys prefer? I have a strong feeling the response is going to be pretty balanced. Share your reasons why in the comments. And if you got a second, drop a like on your way out. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City 2 for a bunch more Zelda tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.